Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another week of Daily Energy Draws. If I look a little bit worse for the wear, it's because I am not feeling very well. <laughs> and uh, emotionally and physically, and I think the emotional because of the physical. So um, here's what's going to happen. I have decided to take the month of November basically off. Um, if you still want to book readings, I'm still doing those, so I'm not completely off, but just to step back from the channel a little bit, focus on my health. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on finishing novel number four. Um, if you guys are interested in my books that I've written, all the information is down in the description box under how you can help support this channel. Um, things. <laughs> Energy is heightened right now. Things are a little bit rough. Um, I don't feel like between counterparts, although it could be exhibiting between counterparts, between your dynamic, but I feel like within ourselves, things are integrating. Um, energies are very intense and heightened, um, especially with Mercury retrograde and all the other astrological events that are happening right now. It does feel like it's going to get lighter, but right now things kind of seem to have started off on a very heavy foot uh, for November. Um, but it does feel like lots of changes are happening. And um, some of them, we don't necessarily understand why. I'll let you guys know, it feels like my life is falling apart, literally. <laughs> um, my external world, at least. Um, I came home the other night and a um, shelf was down in my closet. And just this morning, I uh, had just finished getting ready for the day and a shelf in underneath my cabinet broke. And I'm just like, what is happening? This is after like everything in my house has been falling apart. And it's just like, what is happening? What is happening? Um, I don't quite understand it yet. I don't quite know where this is leading. I don't quite understand what it is that's happening. But it feels like what's breaking down in my external world is showing me that even though I want to break down inside, and I do break down inside, that... It's not as terrible as it seems. That's my own self-mastery to purge and heal and cry it out and grieve it out and let it go. And um, that's my process. That is my process for healing is to allow myself to feel all the emotions and then to pick myself back up in the bathroom. My shelf broke and... Uh, I had a moment where I was on my knees and saying, what is happening and why? And I'll admit, I cried over a shelf. Seems ridiculous, but it was the emotion that was happening within. And the shelf was just the catalyst for everything that was going on within. And after I cried and asked God what the hell was going on, I felt better and I cleaned up the shelf. It reminds me of that scene. I think it's in um, one of those movies um, with where there's a collective cast, I can't remember, I think it's, he's just not that into you, that movie, um, where, I forget her name, but there's an actress who just goes on a complete rampage, and she shatters mirrors, and breaks vases, and things like that, and she cries it out, and then, because there's nobody else around to pick up the pieces, she composes herself, and she grabs a broom, and she cleans up. That is us. That is us in our healing state. That is us in our self-mastery. That is us in our power. And even if it doesn't look powerful when we're on our knees and crying, that is what we have to do to reclaim our power sometimes. That is what we have to do to heal, is just break down externally and internally. And then realize that we've got this. Clean it up. We've got this. That is what we have to do. What I've been battling with lately, and this actually might turn into an Ascension Confessions video, um, what I've been battling with lately is feeling like I shouldn't need anybody. That's something I've been battling with for the past two years. Um, longer than that, if I want to admit. And um, it feels like I've been constantly shown that I shouldn't need anybody. It feels like I've been constantly shown that I should be able to do everything on my own. Especially when you're in the middle of feeling pain and need that comfort. Do you comfort yourself? Or can you lean on somebody for support? That's that interdependence that I've been learning. That's that balance that I've been learning. There are going to be periods in your life where you save yourself. You know, don't expect 
a white knight to come forward. That is the old paradigm. You can save yourself, but you can also lean on your community for support, for validation, for comfort when you need that. Because we are not singular here. We are not meant to be doing this on our own. That is part of having friends. That is part of having loved ones. That is part of having community. That is part of unity, knowing that we are not alone. And so you don't have to, in the physical, do things on your own. You are strong and you are brave, stronger and braver than you can even imagine, more powerful in your divinity than you can even imagine. But that doesn't mean that you have to do everything alone. And that doesn't mean that people have to show you that you're alone. If somebody is not offering you the comfort that you are asking for, then that is not the person that you want in your life at that moment. It's really hard for me to say. It's really hard for me to say. It's difficult to cross the bridge and communicate with one another. Sometimes it's difficult to admit what it is that you need, that you need help. That is part of your strength. And needing help is part of being human. We call on our angel team. We call on our spiritual guidance team. We call on God for support all the time. And it's about damn time that we start calling on each other. It's about damn time that we start calling on each other. All right. I am going to do this as a daily energy draw. I, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's an important message that might resonate with some of you as well. It's been what I've been experiencing, and uh, I think it can help. So what I'm going to do um, is pull some cards for the week. I will have a live stream on Monday, but that is going to be the final live stream of the month, I think. I'm going to probably do some recorded readings throughout the month. Um, I might pop on here and there, so make sure you do subscribe. It will probably be very impromptu. Um, I do appreciate you guys very much. I look forward to coming back in December, but I just need to take care of my own mental health, my own spiritual health, and my own especially physical health because I have not been feeling well, and um, it's time I take care of myself. Um, rather than taking care of others, it's time I turn that love back on myself full force. I have been doing it in spades. Um, I've been doing it in sections, um, but now it's time to, to turn that full force back on myself right now when I need it. So, okay. I'll, uh, I'll talk more about this in the live stream tomorrow, today. I'm pre-recording these. Um, Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss it. Okay, um, today we're going to be using the Gaia Oracle deck that I was called to, so let's see what message comes out for today. This is going to be a little bit of a longer daily energy draw, but we'll get a message. We'll still get a message and see what Spirit has to say. Yeah, I'm not surprised this came out. This actually came out in the latest Pick a Pile. Make sure you check out the Pick a Pile as well. Um, immediately, so we have Ocean of Eternal Love, Healing, Creativity, Fertility. Immediately what they're pointing me to is a 44 number. 44 for me is a number that, it's a number of foundation that you're building a foundation for yourself. You're building a foundation in self-mastery. You're building a foundation in your own self-love and love with one another. Love with another person, love with family, love with friends. Take it as it resonates for you, but this is all foundational. You are building that love. You're building that foundation. You are building a new future in this love, and what they're actually saying is with this love, with the eternal love that is provided for you, with the eternal love that is always divinely yours, because you are eternal love. That ocean of eternal love, that is you. You are part of it. You're not separate from that love. That is you. That is what you are still healing. That is what you are still remembering. That is what you are still giving birth to. That reality that you are love and that you are loved. And that that balance is what creates the entire world. That balance of the feminine and the masculine. That balance of the give and the receive. That balance of the love and the be loved. Because you can't have one without the other. You, it's just impossible. Because this whole universe is created within balance. Shakti. The Shakti energy they're saying. And what's the other one? The Shiva. 
the Shakti and the Shiva energy. I don't know much about that, but that's what they're telling me. So that might resonate for some of you. Um, but everything created in balance, including loving and being loved. And if one of those are out of sync, if one of those is not being reciprocated, then it's out of balance. Then it's out of harmony. But that is not only what you're deserving of, but the foundation that you're building for yourself to love and be loved because you are eternal love. You are that ocean, that depth. This is not superficial love. This is not shallow waters. This is the depth of divine love. Now, what I was going to say <laughs> before they just gave me that flood of messages was 44 for me is always a number of the angelic realm. It's a number of divine protection, of angelic protection. Call upon your angels. Call upon your support team. Call upon your spiritual guidance team. That is a number of the angels saying, we've got you. We're embracing you. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And they're also pointing me to all the blue in this card being it's time to communicate. It's time to express yourself. It's time to be true to who you are and the depth of your love and not hold that back. It's time for this foundation to feel like it has stable footing because it has, because that is what you have been building all along on your healing journey. You have been building that stable footing and it is time to embrace that. It's almost like they're giving me the image. <clears throat> they give me the image of, you know, you build this beautiful house with a very firm foundation that nothing, not earthquakes or floods or anything can shake, right? But it's almost like it's so beautiful that you don't want to live in it. And so you just drive past it every day admiring it. That house is meant to be lived in. That house is meant to be loved. It's meant to have juice boxes on the counter. It's meant to have cereal on the floor. It's meant to have a dog running around. It's meant to have children's shoes everywhere. It's meant to have coins in the couch cushions. It's meant to have artwork on the walls. It's meant to be lived in. That is your love for yourself and for another. It is meant to be expressed. That house is an expression of you. Your human experience Yes, you are spirit, but your human experience is an expression of you as a spiritual. There, I posted this recently on my Susan Dawn profile on Facebook. Feel free to follow me there and friend me there. This, you create separation by believing that the human and the spiritual are separate. You are spirit having a human experience. Because that human experience helps you to evolve. That human experience helps you to understand the depth of that love of who you are. And what I'm also hearing is that human experience helps source energy understand the universe that he, she created. Do not deny the human experience that you're having. When you're denying that part of yourself, you're denying a part of yourself. You're creating dualistic thinking. When in truth, the human and the spirit are one. The human and the spirit are unified. But by only focusing on the spiritual or by only focusing on the human, you are denying the whole. You are denying the love of who you are. You've built the foundation. But for what? For what? Live in that house. Experience all of it. The spiritual and the human. Ground yourself. Lift yourself to both. That is the beautiful balance that we are experiencing. Okay, that felt intense, but they just pulled back, so I feel like there's no more messages there. Let it light you up. They just pointed me to the light there. Let it light you up. Let it all light you up. All right, you guys. That's it. That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with another daily energy draw. Send you guys so much love, so much light, and we will see you soon.